Saw dudes, welcome back to episode four of our Pokemon Ash Gray Let's Play. In the previous episode, we defeated Brock and got our first badge. Oops, that's bag. I was going to show you badge. What's it under? Ash? Yeah. We got our first badge, which was the Boulder badge, as you see down there. So we were able to acquire that, which would... Blah, blah, blah. Wow, speaking is very difficult. I mean, I've proven this time and time again. Uh, yeah, which is great, is what I was trying to say. I don't know why I just turned into, like, Daffy Duck there. Speaking to a microphone is very hard. So we got our Pikachu level 18, our Pidgeotto level 15, and our Butterfree level 17. Uh, we're fresh out of the gym. I haven't done anything since. So we're going to head over to the Pokemon Center here, heal up, and then we will begin our next step by going, uh, I guess it's east. I guess that would be east, yeah. Going east over towards Mount Moon, and we'll see what... Uh, what adventures await us? I don't really know what's going to happen because I don't remember in the TV show too much. So I guess we'll we'll find out together, but it should be interesting. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. My garage, like the heat just kicked on. It's really loud to me, but I don't think you guys will be able to hear it. Okay, so we got a battle. Excuse me, sir. So for this episode, maybe should I, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I'm going to leave this first battle. I'm actually going to battle it. And then the next battle, I'm just going to speed through it with uh, with editing and such. Because like, do you guys really want to watch me battle all these trainers? It's kind of repetitive, but at the same time, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it for this episode and then you guys let me know. But I also don't want to end up having another like 40 minute episode like I almost had in the first uh, or the second episode rather want to keep these kind of down to like 20 or 15 minutes I think that's like fair play oh I can get by that guy cool maybe I can get by this guy come on look the other way go 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 sweet so we should be able to, yeah, okay, never mind, doesn't even matter. We got through all the trainers. I'll, I'll go back and battle them someday, like, on a grinding day, just because we, we don't need to battle them. We got to get through our Mount Moon. Ooh, what the heck? Ah, wild Zubat attack, help me! Let's go check out what homeboys got going on over here. I don't really remember this. But we will KO this Zubat for him protect our homeboy here. Cool. Alright, let's see what we get going now. I really hope that garage isn't very loud because it's going to be really annoying. Thank you so much. You saved my life. My name is Seymour the Scientist. Somebody has strong lines up in Mount Moon causing the nocturnal Pokemon to fly out. They're after the Moonstone. I'm sure of it. The Moonstone was brought there for another planet, from another planet by Clefairy. That's right, Clefairy are aliens. Please go help them. Clefairy aren't aliens. I never really bought into that theory. Like I know we have Deoxys, which is like uh, a Pokemon that's supposedly from space, but like I, I feel like that's super sketchy. It's weird. I wonder. Yeah, Mount Moon's just gonna be like. I think it's like the same formula as uh, before. Same like setting. It looks pretty normal. Does Ash have a Paris? I don't think so. Hopefully that wasn't like something I was supposed to do. Okay, I didn't know if this person wanted to battle, but apparently they do. So we will battle her. She needs to like stop bending over with that skirt. Like you're like 12. Come on, girl. Don't be so disgusting. Ain't nobody want to see that. No Pokemon game. She's trying to enjoy a game here. Not have girls in skirts flirting with you. Come on, I thought that would take it out. We'll get it with a quick attack on the next uh, next move here. Yeah, it looked like it looked like Mount Moon is like the same as normal. It just has like the lights up on it. So hopefully that we won't need Flash. I, I don't think so because we didn't get Flash, or at least I don't remember getting Flash. And I don't have an HM slave anyway. So. Hopefully, hopefully it's not an issue. I don't think it will be though. Let Pidgeotto just clear these grass types out. There we go. Man, those critical hits, they just keep coming. 
I'm playing with my keyboard again too, just because I don't know where the... I know where my controller is, I just don't feel like setting it up. It's, it's kind of a pain. I, in the last video where I used um, the keyboard, it wasn't really loud or anything, so I, I don't think it'll be a problem. But you know what is a problem? All these Pokemans. Maybe we're supposed to catch a Paris. I'm going to catch Paris. I don't remember if he has one or not, but we're going to grab one just in case. And then I'll look at his team afterwards. But like, I don't really remember him having a Paris. Maybe Brock had one? I know someone has one, but I don't know who it is in the show. So hopefully it's not Ash, because I don't really want a Paris. But we have it regardless, and I gotta stop saying but so much. But, 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 but. Maybe I'll put like a picture of a but every time I say but on the screen. That way it adds, adds something to it. Know what I'm saying? Picking up when I'm laying down. I know he doesn't have a sand true. I'm like 900% sure about that. So we will run from this guy. Girl. Oh shit. I didn't want to fight you. No, no, no. Go, go, go. He's like. Look at this guy. So you ever wonder like why... I mean, obviously it's for game game purposes, but like why people are just like chilling in a cave, like ready to battle you. Like you just walk around, you're, you're like in a cave and then somebody's like, yo, I'm just, I'm just chilling here with my Pokemon. been waiting for somebody to walk by for so long so that we could just battle. I mean, like that, that's, that's my goal in life. That's basically what I do. Shit, what was it? We'll go with Pidgeotto. Because flying is effective against fighting. I wasn't paying attention. My phone was ringing. And I could hear it going off. Hopefully it wasn't anything important, because I did not answer. Man, this is taking forever. There we go. Can't wait till I get uh, that water type, but I won't tell you what it is. I'm sure you guys know. It's something cool with some glasses. Can't wait to get that thing. Geodude. Yes, we're going to switch. I mean, I don't have confusion on this, so maybe this was a dumb move, but... Butterfree, you need to get confusion. Does anybody know why I don't have confusion on my Butterfree here? It's pretty annoying, gotta say. Got to say. It's really strange, because like I know it learns it sometime after it evolves. Like you get all the powders at once, and then you get uh, confusion. Or at least you're supposed to. I'm gonna switch this out. I don't really have anything to hit this with though. All my normal moves aren't going to do shit, so maybe it's just worthy to keep throwing gusts up. Between gusts and poison, we'll eventually get him. But it's going to be incredibly tedious. Oh my god, that did like no damage. It's doing less damage as we go. Is it because of defense curl? I thought Gus was a special move, but let's see. Yeah, it must not be a special attack. I thought Gus was a special attack move for some reason. Should take him out within the next turn or two here, hopefully. Not this one, but hopefully the next one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I feel like I'm getting like no XP for these. I guess I am pretty over leveled here. I did that just to beat Brock. This is the first Zubat we've seen in Mount Moon. That's pretty, pretty surprising here. That's what they're pretty notorious for is being hanging around uh, the old Mount Moon. Star piece. So I don't know what that is. Don't recall what that is. Do I need something to break these? Yeah.
So I don't know if I went the wrong way or what. Why is there a Pidgey in a cave? Makes no sense. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Phone call. All right, and we're back. So, got that phone call shit done. I need to get some repels because this is annoying. Okay, so I must be going the wrong way, which really sucks. So we're gonna have to go through that all over again. This is so annoying. I just wanna get this. I hate Mount Moon so much with the... Uh... Mount Moon sucks with no repels. It's so annoying. Did you notice that like there's like a tree right there? I just noticed that. That must be like part of the, I mean, obviously it's just the way the, the hack works, but there's a tree right there. It's like a big old Christmas tree in the old Mount Moon. So I think I should go down here and to the right, maybe. Hopefully that will be the correct way this time. It's not entirely the same way as uh, I thought Mount Moon would be laid out. At least not the way it was in the past. And if it is, I just don't remember. Ooh, Clefairy. Oh my god, stop it. Yeah, so in the future, we should probably invest in some, uh, some repels before we go to... Or go through quizzes. I get or quizzes. What the fuck am I saying? Before we go through caves. Oh my god, speaking is, is difficult. He brought his electric Pokemon to the cave. Thanks, brother. I'm really glad. Super nerd Jovan. Unfortunately, again, I don't have anything super strong to hit this with. And I think that I'll probably get paralyzed because he probably has Static Shock too. Or whatever that ability that I just paralyzed him with. I'm, I'm guessing that he has it too just because he's an Electric type. What's he got next? Now a Voltorb. Would Butterfree be more effective? I'm gonna guess not. I should probably hit Pikachu with a potion here too. Just because we're gonna need him towards the end, I imagine. Oh wow, that quick attack did good work. Voltorb's defenses must be a lot less than uh, Magnemite. Either that or just something weird in the code. Nope, I guess his defenses are a lot lower. That's good. Good for me. Blackout. Nice, brother. All right, let's get in our bag here and let us get, hopefully I have some potions. Cool, I do. We'll toss one on Pikachu here. Pikachu's eyes look really weird when it was zoomed in there. Up or to the right? I'm gonna go up. Please be the right way. Let me out of this damn cave. There we go. That's what I was trying to trigger. Prepare for trouble to up. We want the Moonstone to power up our Pokemon. Ready or not. All right. So now we get to battle these doofuses again. But this is what I was trying to get to. I, I figure this is probably towards the end of the end of Mount Moon. But I feel like we haven't done too much exploring either. So... Hopefully this is the end of it. At least we have a one-on-one -on -one battle this time. And wow, that Ekans really leveled up from last time. Yeah, you should know better than to bite the electric mouse here. Come on now. Don't be stupid. You gonna get paralyzed. All right, so we took down Ekans. Oops, I didn't want to switch. Now we got a coughing to deal with. I feel like this is kind of repetitive just because 
it, like the anime, every single episode has been spent... Oh, wow, one hit. Not bad. Every single episode has been like, go through area, fight Team Rocket. Go through area, get a badge, fight Team Rocket. Try and learn Slam. How much power does that add? Yeah, we can get rid of agility for that. I don't really use agility anyway, so screw it. We'll put some. Uh, we'll put slam on it. Thank you. They're gonna give me the moonstone now. Peace, homies. Why is there? <laughs> what is going on with Mount Moon here? Why, why is there like water? They, I guess they made it like a legitimate cave. Interesting. I guess it makes sense then, then why there's like Pidgeys and Rattatats in here. It's because like the area we're in right now is normally supposed to be... I'm guessing it's normally supposed to be like a grass overworld, maybe? I mean, I don't know how the modding works in terms of just like creating a new game out of it. So, that's my guess, but I'm not entirely sure. There we go. I don't want to fight that guy. Are you kidding me? Like, right when I get to the ladder. This Pidgey had to come say hello to me. This looks like it could be an exit. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh wow, that was close. That guy almost caught me. I think if we go down here, go to the left, and then another area, we might have to battle one more trainer. And then I think we'll be out of Mount Moon. Hopefully. Oh my god. You know, for all those memes with the uh, freaking Zubat, I mean, we've encountered what? Like two Zubats on Mount Moon so far? Or in Mount Moon, rather, I should say. Not on, on Mount Moon. But uh, yeah, we've. Oh, well, there you go. Right on cue. But for the most part, we haven't really come across any Zubats, which is kind of funny. We're just getting stopped by everything else in the game. Mount Moon is the freaking worst. Why did no one tell me to buy repels? Oh my god. I mean, on a bare minimum, I guess at least it's not like the old versions of uh, Pokemon where you had to... Um, get flash before you could go through it. Did I not just come? What is that? That looks sweet. Maybe that's the stone we're supposed to get? Oh, there's a lot. Yep, we'll take it. Sure. There's a bunch of Clefairy. Again? What? Oh, Clefairy ain't doing that. Clefairy using metronome. It caused a huge explosion. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Well, peace, Team Rocket. Seymour, you found the Moonstone. The Clefairy must pray to it. Thank you for saving the Clefairy from Team Rocket. I've decided to live here with the Clefairy. It's been my life dream to find the Moonstone, and someday I'll travel to the stars with Clefairy. Bro, you got some weird ass, weird ass fantasies. What have we got now? No. I don't want you, Sandshrew. Leave me alone. Thank God we've been able to run away from every... Oh my God. What the fuck? This is unreal. What is happening? I literally took a step. Got a Pokemon. Ran from it. Took another step, and there was another one. Like, what the hell is that shit? Antidote. Perfect. 
The exit! We made it! We made it! I saw something up here. Yep. Give me that. Roar. Roar can be pretty useful. Is that the Mewtwo area? Why is there like a random computer over there? Okay. Nothing else over here. I wanted to check just before I jumped this ledge and then couldn't get back over here. Alright, we are in Cerulean City. Oh god, another event. We'll have to we'll have to check that out in a minute. I'm gonna go heal up here. Alright, so we made it to Cerulean City. I mean, I thought that episode was alright. I kind of apologize. It might have been a little boring for some portions of it. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. I, I wasn't feeling 100% into it, I guess. And Mount Moon was just annoying the shit out of me. So, uh, in the next episode, I guess we'll explore what's going on over there. And hopefully, we should be able to capture the Cerulean badge. We'll see. I don't really know. Again, I kind of don't remember the the TV show, so this is where things start to get fun. It's like a new, fresh game. I don't know entirely what's going to happen, but we will investigate what's happening over there at that house in the next episode, and we, uh, we'll go from there. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. Otherwise, I will see you guys in Episode 5. Peace.